Welcome everybody to the Red Stars' pre-game press conference. We have Kerry Roccaro and Coach Petroselli here with us this week. Um, as always, if you have a question, please use your raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Uh, Leslie, welcome back from Australia. Do you want to kick us off? Uh, sure. Uh, Kerry, you've played in pretty much every time zone and every region of this great nation. Um, not, to, not to ask a controversial question to start, but um, which which regions had your favorite food and uh, what was it? Oh, I really like the food here. And I'm not just saying that because I did play for Houston first and I know that's kind of like in the middle area, but Midwest, I feel like Chicago, I like the food the best. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I believe you, I believe you. Um, you've probably had more experience in this than uh, most players, but I mean, what, what's it like going against your former team just yeah. over and over again? Yeah, I've had, I mean, this is my fourth team, so I've done it quite a bit. Um, I like it because I feel like I'm familiar with the players and their style. I know North Carolina, their style's changed a little bit since the previous years under Sean, and he's definitely doing something a little bit different, but I still feel this, like, sense of familiarity and, like, comfortability where it kind of puts me at ease. Same with Angel City. When we went there in June, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm at ease. I kind of know what you guys were trying to do here, and I'm just, like, really calm about it. And, yeah, it's actually, like, really fun for me. I get really fired up to play my former clubs. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks, Leslie. Uh, Taylor, go ahead. Hey, Chris. Um, hey, K. Gary. Um, thanks for chatting with us this morning. Um, I was wondering if we could start off with kind of what have the vibes been around um, the squad this week. I know you, uh, the Orlando game was kind of rough. Um, and you've got another uh, must-win game coming up against um, North Carolina. So how has everything been? Well, I, I don't think, you know, no one's, no one's happy with the way that we played at, at Orlando, and, and I, I feel most everybody felt that um, we were subpar in the match, and um, we certainly were second best in the match. And so um, I think we have a little bit of a cranky, frustrated team um, but you know we had some good um, some good talks yesterday um, and a really a good training session yesterday um, so I, I feel pretty confident that we've moved on and that we're just focused on the next one and then um, to either of you um what kind of challenges do you kind of expect from North Carolina come this weekend? Okay, well, first challenge, it's going to be hot. Midday game, um, they're definitely going to have some good spells of possession. I think that was clear last time we played them. They move the ball really well. Um, they're just very – they're good at what they do, and so I think we're going to have to just keep the ball when we can. I think that's going to be our best defense and to just be like – super compact and organized while they try to do their thing to try to prevent them from doing what they're really good at. Thank you. Thanks, Taylor. Uh, Joe, go ahead. Hey, y'all. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks, as always, for taking the time. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Coach, if I could start, I'm sorry if I missed this because I was a second late. Uh, do we have a timeline, an update on uh, Tierna returning potentially? Uh, what's up with her ankle? Um, yeah, I don't know that I can give you too much of a timeline. She's got a sprained ankle. Mm -hmm. Um, she's, you know, she will be in some limited training today, um, for the first time really. And, you know, depending upon how that goes, we'll determine, you know, what the next step is and, and where she might end up. So. Um, this weekend may may come too fast, but I, I'm not totally ruling it out. Um, but she is making some progress. Thank you. And Carrie, if I may then ask, uh, we've had the opportunity to talk to Taylor Mollum a little bit. Uh, she's got some more time on the pitch. You have the opportunity to work with her uh, from the defense to the midfield, a really important connection. I'm curious uh, what you've seen from her as a teammate uh, on and off the pitch, and she's clearly someone uh, who's got the ability to stick around in this league. Yeah, she's been great. I 
think she's probably been our most improved player. I think she's grown a ton since she got here. I think she's getting more comfortable on and off the field and locker room and all that. And just in terms of like keeping it simple, trying to connect a pass and just doing your job and, and really just like simplifying the game. I think she does a really good job. And she's been starting to talk more, talk louder, organize from behind. I've, I've been giving her, I'm like, hey, I need, I need you to just tell me. And yeah, it doesn't matter that I've been playing a lot longer. I'm just like, I wanna hear from you. And so I've been helping her help me, which has been really great. It's been fun. Can I ask how you uh, pull that off? It's always a struggle to try to bring out personalities in a workplace. So I'm, I'm curious how you pull that off. Yeah, frankly, I just said, you need to be louder. I need to hear you and I want to hear you. I was like, even if I'm in the right spot, it's like really nice to be validated and say like, yeah, you're good there. And I was like, that's really nice coming from someone behind me to just know like I'm doing something semi right. And I was like, be loud about it, be brave. So she's been definitely making strides. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Chris, uh, last thing from me, uh, I'm curious, uh, Mackenzie Wood gets loaned out uh, for a year, but also re-signed to a long-term contract showing, you know, the club's got value to her long-term. Uh, I'm curious what you've seen from her and just understanding how uh, tough it is to break through this specific goalie room. She's pretty good. And, you know, we, we've been impressed with her from, from the beginning. And remember, she played that, that match against Mexico and played quite well. Um, and she's she's improved every day. Um, much better goalkeeper now than when she first came in. Um, but yeah, she's in a tough spot with Alyssa, and then you know Emily did did quite well when she had a shot. So we wanted to get her some games. You know, she just wasn't getting games here. She was getting quality training, but she wasn't getting games. So this is going to give her opportunity to play. Um, we'll get her back. Um, you know, next middle of the season next year and um and she'll be certainly more experienced and and played in a little bit more and and uh I think she'll be much improved and you know maybe even able to compete you know for one of these spots so thank you appreciate it and a good luck in the North Carolina heat thank you thanks Jeff uh any last questions for either Carrie or Chris I have one for Chris go ahead and uh yeah, I heard uh, a bunch of teams have been changing the schedule to practice to the heat. Wonder if you are practicing earlier or in a later date, or how you practice and do it with this weather. Yeah, so what we've done is we've gone inside, actually into into the the dome that we have here. We did that yesterday. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to do it today, um, and and then we're heading to North Carolina tomorrow. So. That's been the way we've adjusted. We just we haven't been outside. Thanks, Edna. Uh, any last questions? Looks like enough. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I'll send a recording out shortly. Bye, everyone. <laughs>